What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Haircuts. Today we'll be working on that 5 liter block from the 89 Mustang convertible that we showcased in episode 2 of our project review. Now this block has been sitting for the last 10 years. Uh, it has been stripped and sitting for the last I'd say a year and a half or so. Um, since that time we, since there hasn't been much happening with this thing so we want to go ahead and get it all buttoned up. It's not going to go into the car anytime soon but we just want to have it tidy put off to the side so that when we do have the chance to work on that car when this uh, Trans Am here is finally done because no one voted for the Mustang. Once the Trans Am is finally done uh, and we have some time then we'll go ahead and move on to that Mustang because it is going to be probably the biggest build uh, of all the projects that we have left. Then we'll go ahead and put it in there but for now we just want to have this motor uh, top to bottom done on the stand and ready to go. So today what we're going to be working on is basically we had cleaned this before everything was done but there is some dust and grit and all that crap from sitting over some time and the pistons all need to be cleaned off there is no more gasket material left on the on the block if you see close enough there is some casting marks and all that but this is an iron block so it won't be nice and smooth um no nicks or anything like that to worry about everything's flat we've checked the decks and everything we're good to go as far as that's concerned are the rings okay are the bearings are are they okay we're going to go with yes because we're going to use positive vibes we're not taking anything apart it ran perfect it had tons of power it did not smoke um the only reason we took it apart is because we're ambitious and thought we needed something bigger and better, which now we know we did not need at that time, but we're going to go ahead and get this done. So I'll go ahead and show you some of the parts that we have um, that we purchased obviously over a decade ago, and we're going to go ahead and put some of that stuff back into the block today after we have cleaned everything. So for heads, we have the Trick Flow Twisted Wedge. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot better items out there nowadays, but back in 2008 2009 these were the best things uh, you could get so i wanted to get those or we wanted to get those so we went with a trick flow twisted wedge heads as well as a trick flow stage one cam uh, we went with stage one because at that time on three performance had just come out with their fox body five liter turbo kits uh, they were 1300 a pop you couldn't go wrong they're all made with uh, stainless steel previously people had issues with uh, some of their v-clamps and all that at this time, things had just gotten sorted out, so that was the direction we are going to take this project. And the Stage 1 cam would work perfectly with that. If we went anything beyond that, we were going to have issues or we are going to have to change a cam out. But for this, that's why we had stuck with that. Uh, we also have ARP head studs ready to go in, and then as well as the Scorpion 1.6 rocker, rockers. Um, we also got hydraulic tappet lifters. I need to make sure I soak those in some oil. Uh, before we put them in, we've got a double roller timing set, push rods, oil pickup, oil pump, obviously front and main uh, seals, new timing cover, new water pump, and there's a ton of other parts that I'm forgetting right now. It's just that we just want to get up some progress going on it. As we are working on it, things will come up and I'll purchase or we'll purchase all those parts as we need to while we're working on it. Uh, current status of the car is a pretty sad state. It will sit like this for some time and once the engine is ready to go in or once we're ready to put the engine in and motor and tranny all that stuff ready to go uh, we'll do so at that time so this is just gonna be a short video of us assembling that and going from there I'm gonna do a quick time lapse and you guys can watch us get everything done all right so we were able to get everything cleaned up uh, just did a quick clean on the piston tops nothing crazy nothing that great um, doesn't really need it you can always do a sea foam or you know a couple of shots of nitrous and we'll get all that cleaned up anyways this is just an old five liter small block ford this is not something crazy that needs to be uh dialed into them to the t's so as long as everything's clean and not dirty we double checked all the lifter valleys everything's good um cam bearings everything in there is nice and clean dust free and what I will do though, is because this thing's going to be sitting for a while, is I will make sure I put a little bit of oil in each of these valleys before I put the lifters in, and run a little bit of oil in each um, cylinder wall as well, just to make sure it has a little bit of loop. Uh, now we can go ahead and put the cam in. So this is that Trick Flow Stage 1 cam. Um, this is a decade old, or a decade old as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick clean because it has been sitting uh, untouched. There's some dust and random little bits of grit on here. So we're just going to give it a quick clean. After that, we'll lube it up and we'll put that in. 
followed by the lifters. They've been soaking for about an hour, maybe two hours now. Um, they don't need to soak overnight. It's not like we're going to be firing this thing up anytime soon. I was only just doing that more of peace of mind that I did soak them. So we'll throw those in, put the spider back on there. And from then we can start um, opening up the box for the heads. That box has never been opened. So we have never opened that up to see what the heads look like or anything like that. So we can go ahead and open that box and um, disassemble the heads, reassemble, make sure all the exhaust seals, intake seals, and valves go up and down smoothly and that the springs are all good to go. Once that's done, we're not going to get to putting those heads on today, but we'll make as much progress as we can, and then the next time we'll be able to get as much, much of it done as well, possible. I'm just using some engine assembly lube from Comp Cams. Hopefully this is not 10 years old. This should be alright. I've stuck about half of it in there already. Now I'm just going to guide the other half in there, and after that's done, we will go ahead and put the cam retainer plate on there with some Loctite, torque it down, and the cam's in. From there, we can go ahead, put on the um, double roller timing set, and time the cam to the crank. And our front timing cover set will be ready to put on at that point. That just gives those lifters a little bit more time to soak in that oil there. I'm going pretty damn heavy on this and once again the reason behind that is this has been sitting for some while everything's been sitting I don't know how long it's gonna sit until we crank it at least this way it'll be lubricated for once we do crank it and the first little while that it takes for the motor to build some oil pressure back up so what I'm doing now is slowly sliding that cam back in there you gotta take your time and play with it and just rock it side to side and it will work its way back in. There we go, the cam is now in. I'm gonna go ahead and change my gloves out, um, clean up that cam retaining plate, put it on with some Loctite, torque it down and like I said put that timing set back on, get that timing cover to go back on and then I'll either put the lifters in and tighten them down or I'll just wrap this top so we don't get any crud going All right, into the so cam. Alright, so we've applied a little bit of Loctite to our cam thrush plate bolts. Uh, these are going to tighten down to 9, 6, 8 or 9 foot pounds. I'll double check before I do that. It's just the thrush plate and the cam sprocket that we need to do Loctite on. Everything else should be good to go. And with this Trek Flow cam, it comes with two size dowels, two different sizes. I believe one is for a bigger gear, one for a shorter gear, meaning a single or a double roller. So we'll be using the longer one in here. All right, with the magic of video editing, we're able to get everything timed in dot to dot on the first try. Awesome, it always happens to work, work out just like how you want it. So we're able to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the cam bolt. Uh, that also requires some Loctite and it's torqued to 45 foot pounds. So I'm just gonna grab my torque wrench and uh, crank that down as well. All right, so we applied some Loctite to the cam bolt as well. The cam bolt also comes with a retainer uh, that keeps the timing gear from uh, moving around or shifting. So that's what helps lock everything in. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure that the retainer is locked into the little tab that comes in the gear. Put it in my hand. See that's all locked in now, it's not going to go anywhere. And this we're going to tighten to 45 foot pounds. Alright, so now the timing set's all torqued in, we can go ahead and start putting our lifters in. 
So these have been soaking in some oil. Uh, they are nice and ready to drop in. And like I said earlier, I soaked them just for peace of mind. Um, this thing is going to be sitting for quite some time. So I don't really think there'll be much oil left on them anyways. They're going to drain out by the time we crank this thing over. But at least they'll feel better. And these lifters do have an oil release on one end. It doesn't matter which way you face them. Um, they work just the same. Right, so these are in. I'm going to go ahead and change my gloves one more time. Actually, no, they'll be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put those um, X-style brackets that are holders for these lifters so that the lifters don't uh, go anywhere. And after that, I can go on and put the spider brackets, which will hold them on. So basically, the X-style bracket will sit like so. Uh, they'll keep the lifters in place. And then there's another bracket that goes on top that they call the spider bracket. They will go on top of these guys and everything stays into place. Once that's done, then I'll go ahead and close this section off just so there's no dust or grime or anything getting into here. And I can start um, going ahead with getting the timing cover and all that front end stuff put on. Then we'll flip this whole motor around, drop the um, oil pump and oil pickup tube, replace those things. Put the pan on. There's a couple of goodies we got to put on for that, and uh, some of you will get what's going on once we do so. And then we'll throw on the heads and uh, valve covers, intake, and wrap this thing up. All right. So this one's that spider one I was talking about. Uh, we're not going to put it on right now, just because it's filthy. So I'm going to go ahead and degrease it, clean it all up, and then I'll torque this one down. Once I basically, the bolts I got sitting in there, once this is cleaned up and I've got it torqued down in here, then the lifters are good. Uh, and I'll just put some plastic wrap on here just to keep every, everything nice and clean. It will move on up to the uh, front timing cover, like I said, do the bottom, throw on the oil pan and uh, finish this off. 